Welcome to Physics Power Channel. Now I am going to explain the details about escape velocity. To learn about escape velocity and escape velocity equation, you should know some basic formulae that is kinetic energy and potential energy of the particle under gravitational field. For a particle of mass m, that kinetic energy expression we know half mv square. So here v e indicates the escape velocity. For example, particle moving with this velocity, it is having kinetic energy. Similarly, it is having potential energy. According to gravitation, the potential energy between the two massive bodies is equals to g mm by r. r is the distance between the masses and capital M small m are the masses. Actually, here the potential energy expression with minus. Here negative sign indicates the attraction between them. Means two massive bodies in attractive field. These two formula are useful to get the expression of escape velocity. Now I am going to give the details about the definition. So regarding definition escape velocity means it is the minimum velocity required for a projectile to escape from the surface of the planet that is from gravitational influence of a planet that is called escape velocity means the body projectile should have minimum velocity to escape from the gravitational field. So here projectile means any body projected with respect to horizontal other than 90 degrees other than 90 degrees to the horizontal if you throw any body actually that will follow a parabolic path but if you can throw with escape velocity then definitely the body cannot come back to the earth surface that is escape velocity to get the expression for it just consider capital M mass of the planet or in general you can consider earth also r is the radius of the earth or radius of the planet and on the earth surface for example there is a mass now we projected that massive body with a velocity ve then it should not come back means on the surface of the earth how much potential energy is there that much kinetic energy if you give both will be balanced and further it cannot come back to the earth surface that means the total potential energy plus kinetic energy should be equal to zero so here sum will be zero reason that potential energy will be with negative value by because attractive field and kinetic energy positive net zero so that means it is free from the gravitational field ok so that means we can write like this kinetic energy equals to minus potential energy now initial I said kinetic energy expression we can write as half mv square and potential energy minus g mm by r so here minus minus get cancelled and as well as small f masses also get cancelled so in this expression if you get cancelled the mass small m get cancelled small m get cancelled then further 2 you can send left side and v e equals to square root of 2 g m by r so this is the expression for the escape velocity so important formula but we can derive this expression in another way also so this is one expression but further if you want to give the same escape velocity in terms of acceleration due to gravity so for that purpose reason so in the expression capital mass of the planet but instead of mass of the planet we know g value g of the planet or earth mass as compared with earth mass g value identification is easy so in terms of g i want to convert this equation so that is why I multiplied with r and divided with r so if you multiply with r this expression then into r and the denominator also into r r into r r square now in the equation inside the root gm by r square nothing but that is well known that is nothing but acceleration due to gravity of a planet since g is nothing but gm by r square so now instead of gm by r square we can write small g so here in this equation gm by r square nothing but small g if you substitute you will get that escape velocity v equals to square root of 2 g into capital r so this is the escape velocity of a planet at earth so if you consider g as acceleration due to gravity the radius of the earth then this is the escape velocity for the earth so here if you write those values g 9.8 and r for the earth 6.4 into 10 to the power of 6 meter if you substitute those values then v equals to so both the values substituted and simplify you will get 
on the surface of the earth so keep it in mind it is on the surface at a particular distance from the center at r nothing but on the surface that value is 11.2 km per second if you can throw any body with 11.2 minimum velocity in any direction it cannot come back to the earth surface that velocity is escape velocity it can escape from the earth gravitational field now further this is on the surface we derived now escape velocity of a body from certain height above the surface of the planet so so far what we derived that is on the surface square root of 2 gm by r r square root of 2 gr these two escape velocity on the surface but if you consider any point from the at the surface at a particular height from there you can analyze the escape velocity for example if you consider a particular height from the at the surface h then from the center of the earth we can mention the distance as r plus h at a particular height h the distance from the center of the planet is r plus h so instead of r we have to substitute r plus h that's all so escape velocity v equals to square root of 2 gm by r plus h or so here you can substitute that one expression here if you substitute another expression this is the escape velocity equation thank you if you want in particularly any topic mention in comment section i will try to post that topic video also